So we've been doing our test now. Surprised that um, this one, where I've basically got uh, the air just comes through lots of tubes, comes up here, it actually heats a lot better than this one. About 33 degrees Celsius. The output was roughly about 72, 73 degrees output of here. Um, this one here, the output was around about 65. So this one's kicking out 7 degrees Celsius more. So the temperature rises 7 degrees more. Surprise me, um, I thought that would be the better design. Leon thinks the reason is, is because we've got more air actually flowing through here. So the key thing is, we think, Leon, what do you think? It's, it's probably airflow. Well, there's more holes down here, drawing up more air. Whereas this one here has only got one hole. So the area in which to draw in air is far more reduced. So this is probably better at converting radiant heat to actual output heat. I think that's what's going on. Mm. So surprise me. Um, maybe if we had this design with lots of inputs here, we'd get a similar sort of result. Now, here's the debate. What will happen if we connect both these together? So that outlet now, we're kicking around about um, 75 degrees Celsius. What will happen if we put them out together? Will the output be 75 plus around 30? Will the output be around about 100 degrees Celsius? I think it will. Leon's got a different opinion. Yeah, I think it's going to be lower. The air particles in this unit are vibrating more. They're going to hit air particles in this unit, which are slower, therefore slowing these particles down. So the air coming out of this one, I think it's going to be about 75 degrees. So it's only a difference of a couple of degrees. Yeah. All right. So I might get you to stop there.